And he does. But at least it's easy cheat. Right. Slice to right. It will get down for a base hit in front of Gonzalez. So a one out single for Kane and he breaks through with his first hit of the series. And it brings a smile to his face. On the same day in late January. They acquired Kane and Yelich. Good numbers this season as you saw for Kane against lefties 2 2 left side base hit. And Lorenzo Kane is on to start the night for Milwaukee with Yelich coming up Hit a home run in the postseason. That was no cheapy. That was 407 over the wall in right center. Kane grounds one up the middle for a base hit. Here's the home run. Well, he took pitches, pitches well, and he sat on this pitch. And the left field, another base hit for Kane, and that gets past Taylor to the wall. Kane has a double and a three hit night. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. He waited for his pitch. And looks like he's leaning back and knew what was coming. Watch how this approach. Leg goes up and then all the weight and transfer as it almost he arches back. And it's looking like he's just enjoying that lean back swing. Tremendous approach. Had a great first year in Milwaukee, hit 308, which was the fifth best average in the league. Get up in the bullpen. Ryu trying to keep it now. A one run game, 2 1 pitch is ripped into the corner. This ball is down into the wall. Miley will dig for third. He'll stop there on a double by Kane. Side that he like it hooks it away from Taylor. You see the pitch and the unorthodox way that Kane kind of leans back. And now an interesting decision here for the Dodgers. You've got Yelich at the plate, a base open, Braun on deck, Matson warming up along the lines of a hit batsman, Jim Wolf behind the plate, Brian Gorman at first, Greg Gibson at second, Alan Porter is over at third, the crew chief is Jerry Davis in left, in right, Hunter Wendelstead had the long night behind the plate. That's into center, and that's a base hit. Picked up on a short hop by Bellinger, and Kane is on to start the game for Milwaukee. Bellinger made you could call it a game saving catch on a ball that was hit by Kane into right last night and here he ends up getting it on a short hop for a leadoff hit but that again is a testimony to Kane's ability to just kind of serve it out in in the in the field of action and he gets rewarded it wasn't it wasn't the uh, all out swing and assault that we see. The Dodgers are going to ask the crew to look at this. It hits in the outside part As of the glove. The question is you see the bounce in there, but is the webbing of the glove underneath? Wow. I mean, you see a bounce clearly. You could see that from up here, but is the webbing of that black glove under the ball? Probably. That might be entirely inside the glove, even with the bounce, which would be a catch. Yes, it would. This Cody Bellinger is quite an athlete to be playing multiple positions, and I don't know. Great defense. You know, you always go back. I don't care if you're talking football or baseball. On is there 
irrefutable evidence to overturn the call. The call on the field was a base hit that it was trapped, and that is confirmed with replay. But I think worth a look yeah. by the Dodgers. So in a game like second, one out. Fly ball into center, well hit, back is Bellinger, and it is over his head, up against the wall. Arcia will dig to the plate, Woodruff over to third on an RBI double by Lorenzo Cain, and the Brewers strike first. A one out hit by Arcia, then the walk, and now this, the double by Lorenzo Cain. Now there's the slider that caught the middle of the plate, and he squares it up with that fallback kind of swing, and he hit it so hard that straight over the head of Bellinger, who was playing kind of medium depth center field. Here's Yelich. With the lead runner Woodruff, the pitcher, big bodied right hander over at third, the infield comes about halfway in. Yelich takes a strike. And this is the kind of heat that Milwaukee has put on the Dodgers all series. I mean, if there was a meter of during these first four games, who had who was more in control of the four games, it would be heavily favored Milwaukee. Yes, Dodgers had a one in the regular year. It was 0-2, now the 2-2. Just poked at it, tough play, and safe. Ball gets away, and Kane is willing to hold at first. Might not have been aware. Leadoff base hit. I mean, can't set that up any better with the way that he goes with that two strike approach. He believes if he can find the ball and his speed makes something happen. And that's exactly what he did and puts the Brewers in a situation where they. They need to get something go going. They need multiple hits in an inning. And they need something out of the likely MVP in the National League, Christian. More prototypical. Kane is on with a base hit into left. And any more runs would make it that much easier for Council to stay with Burns. Yeah, this is more prototypical of how I thought the game was going to go. Dave Roberts is going to come out and make a change. That's why I was in tonight. Here's a 2 1 from Bueller. Right side, and Hernandez was moving the wrong way. And just into the game, he was jumping to his right, and that ball was hit to his left. Watch this. Probably getting some late information, and that late information didn't help him out there. See if the Brewers want to pressure. They've got him loose in the bullpen. Breaking ball is hit into left. Extra bases for Kane. He's got a two out double. And now the decision. That does open up a base and gives them an option to walk Yelich if they want to and pitch to Braun. But 